tweets fall into three, I would say, three primary categories. About two-thirds of all Senate tweets uh, dealing with policy. And then you have another subset of tweets that deal with local or constituent issues. And then another percentage of your tweets that deal with politics, right? Now, these aren't mutually exclusive. You can do both, right? You can talk about why democratic inaction on inflation is bad, and you can deal with policy and politics at the same time, right? You can talk about about why small business support is good for your community. So you can do policy and local issues at the same time. But for most people, policy, constituent issues, and politics sort of encapsulates everything they do, aside from, you know, happy birthday messages and isn't it great that it's Cinco de Mayo. We would think, and most of the stuff we see on cable news tends to be politics, and a lot of us would assume that that's the lion's share of what actually happens. But it turns out that politics, at least during this period, and even extending into the first year of the Trump presidency, the lion's share of politics is only somewhere between 10 to 15 percent of what actually gets shared in a Senate Twitter setting, whereas most of it, I would say, anywhere from 60% to about two thirds is policy relevant. For someone who is in a public policy school and has public policy entrance, that's very reassuring that to a certain extent, regardless of what gets covered or what a journalist may retweet, it has some foundation in public policy. It's not just presidential, you know, slander, and it's not just partisan bickering, there is some policy component to that. And then sort of constituent issues or local issues being somewhat secondary. And I would imagine, and I haven't looked at it closely, but I imagine as the professionalization of Twitter has has gotten better, that sort of community local constituent piece has probably fallen some, just because we know that that's not who's on Twitter, and that's not who that audience is. And over time, staff Staff and members have gotten better at understanding who their audience is across different platforms.